Hi, Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me. You're getting to see me at the front of the camera. It's been a while. Hope wherever you are in the world, you are safe. I hope that you find time to put some creativity in your world. But just remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Remember to join my Facebook group if you want a platform to showcase your art of any medium. It's a very supportive group and we would love for you to inspire us and hopefully we'll inspire you and it's a very collaborative group. And last but not least, if you want to purchase any of my treasures, including the piece I'm making here, there will be a link into my Etsy store and that will be available. What are we working on? I can hear you. You're all asking. Well, got a little collaboration coming up with the most amazing Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner. So if you haven't already, pop over and see her channel. She is the most amazing creative person. So many different ideas. And does that lady know how to use a hot glue gun? Oh yes, she does. Anyway, we are working on a fun, happy piece and the title is Bubbles. So Bubble of Love. We're not doing it on the 14th of February because Claire doesn't do Valentine's Day, but we are going to invoke the magical memories of Candy Floss, Fairgrounds, Childhood Memories, Bubbles and it's been a while since I've worked on one of those, so I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully it gives some positive energy out into the world because, wow, what a crazy place it is currently. What am I gonna be working on? So the rules of the collaboration is resin, the theme is bubbles and bubbles of love, and you can use any pigments or whatever you want within your uh, resin. First sitting is gonna be base layer, um, I've already primed it, I'll show you, it's a round board. If you're new to resin, you may not know that there are resin calculators out there, so pop in the size of your canvas board, whatever you're working on, and it'll tell you how much, but go slightly under with rounds, because obviously you're missing out your corners. This is the board I am going to be using. It's a round board, 50 centimetres, and I have taped the underneath to make sure that when I am a mess, the, the drips are not gonna go underneath. The reason I've put white underneath is twofold. One is to prime your board. When you're working on any kind of wood, because there's natural pores in there, air bubbles are gonna come up. So the priming it is gonna help reduce that, but it's also gonna make your colors pop if some of them are transparent behind it. That's just a personal choice. You prime your board however you will. Enjoy, and I hope that this brings a smile to your face, and I'll see you on the next stage. Wish me luck and Claire, I cannot wait to see what you've created. And I finally got my order from Vuba. So I'm going to be using the Vista Coty. Now this is a two to one part ratio and talks about their low temperature and everything. So my radiator's on, it's a beautiful temperature in my room. I have a brand new board, all primed, ready to go. I've made sure it's level and I am gonna measure out my Vista we're going to create some <laughs> happy coloured bubbles. I'm going to use the fire and ice colours I got from Resin 8 in my new resin. And I'll also tell you what I feel of this wonderful product. Uh, I'm excited to play around with it and see how I feel about it. And I'll give you my honest opinion. I'll come back and show you the colours when they're mixed up. And then we're just going to do the same process, which is just spread the colours all over. Blend them a little bit with a bit of heat. Let them dry and then come and paint your bubbles. I'm super excited. Yay! Okay, so first impressions, love in the texture. It's definitely got that medium uh, feel to it. And I've only just finished mixing this for 30, 30 minutes, three minutes. And there is virtually no bubbles in there. So that in itself is looking really good. It's crystal clear. There's a slight sweet smell to it, similar to... Um, art resin but nothing too bad once i put my respirator on which i'm about to do i highly doubt i'm going to be able to smell anything it's just a very slight sweet smell to it so so far so good the only thing i've not looked up is what is my working time anyway i'm gonna get my colors out get ready and i'll show you what it looks like because how the colors blend into the resin is also something that i look for so enjoy me on this experiment Okay, I am going to show you how beautifully these pigments mix in with resin. To save you time, I have mixed all of them by this one. So it's a really good pigment brand as well, the Resin 8. So this one is the turquoise, but I'll show you the colours later. And pop it in. And it mixes in beautifully. 
and again virtually no bubbles i am just hoping that this will uh, thicken up beautifully so we're in no rush i've got plenty of time to show you the colors and then we'll just wait a little bit and then when i can feel it heating up because we're only doing colors i'm gonna move quick all right i'll move you into place bye so these are my colours all selected and I've got my up tip resin there just making sure I get every last bit of that resin onto my board and that creates a natural effect when you apply it to your pigments. So starting with the fire section which is the resinate uh, pigment I have um, amber, magenta, yellow, burgundy and red and it goes in this order. Oh, Let's see, excuse the bubbles, they are still rising. Oh, is it going to focus? Let's get that in there. The reflection is making it hard. So this one is the fire. I will get rid of those uh, bu bubbles soon. Just letting them come to the top naturally. This one is the burgundy. Very similar to the red. But when they do cure, you can see that difference of the pink tone coming through versus the red. Magenta. Very similar again, but boy, beautiful. My favourite colour, but it's highly concentrated pigment, so they do stain. This one stays terribly. This is the amber. It's beautiful. It reminds me of amber. This one is the yellow. And I have added the Colour Cottage Super Sparkle White into this resin, and that's what that sparkle is. Then we move over to here, and this is the ice collection. So this is the amber. Oh, I'll come back that way. <laughs> And then we are moving over to the light blue. The dark blue. And the one you just saw me mix up, which is the turquoise. And then this one is the pearl. So the pearl's just going to... Sorry, let you see that. The pearl will just be put randomly over these colours and that should bring some different... Oh, uh, I'm going to go straight over the colours with it randomly and that should create some different tones within there. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the heat gun in all of these just to get rid of the excess bubbles. Probably wait a little bit because I, I, I do want it to firm up a little bit before I pour it. I don't want it falling off the sides and uh, we'll see how we go. Yay! I'm going to put my respirator on now and some music. So hopefully you will relax as I do this. Bye bye.
just look at these glorious colors now these were all the fire and ice colors that i've been using in my recent sculptures from resin 8 and i love them i look i'm so happy that i painted the white underneath because what that has done oh is make those colors pop because they're quite transparent so i feel as far as the background's done now you saw me attempt my swirls and boy did those swirls look nice but with this resin that dries beautifully by the way very firm crystal clear no issues and i've been enjoying working with it uh, I'm not going to add super sparkle whites because I can see some of the, even though it looks crystal clear there, when I angle it in certain lights, that um, there you can see the little dimples and that's from the, um, uh, I think the super sparkle white coming to the top. But it's not a biggie because we're going to be doming it anyway. But this resin has a very good working time. So I could have waited a little bit longer. If you want to control your drip offs, or come in and create these features and it hold it it's got to be done when it's a time when it's not just been heated and that when it's not at its most runniest so you almost want to do it when it's really just about cured and that would have held those shapes but what it has done which i really like it's bled some of the colors through into other colors and added a little bit of interest now this is all just the background but look at that yummy blue and the depth that you just get in here from some of these different colors I think they are going to make happy, happy bubbles. And this is where you get the real rich colours coming through because this is where it was all leaking towards this side. This is going to need a lightly sanding because it is going to be over a week until I add more resin, which means you want it to cure to something. And just giving it a light sanding will grip the resin that I'm going to add for the top coat. So if you do it afterwards, it's just a little bit more intricate because you've already added your acrylic and you don't want to be taking off that acrylic that you've just added. But a feast for your eye, but we'll stop looking at all this colour shine because we will see it at the reveal time.
I am sorry that you're going to have a lot of light reflection in this space. Bear with me. I have got my board prepped. Now, I have put a really nice pink around it. Most of the colour is going to fall over the sides, but it's just when it's seen through, I want to make it bubblicious. So you might say, well, why are you going to be adding colour again? Because if this area here wasn't so white and transparent, I would have left it as it is and just put a clear cover over it. However, it bugs me and it's a little grainy there. So it's ignore the scratches because I've done that so that the resin's going to grip to it. So the idea is I'm going to come back through now with these colours, but I'm just going to add colour to the end and it is going to cover some of these blooms, but I don't mind that because it might make it look like it's hiding behind some pink fluffy unicorn clouds. And if I need to repaint it all again um, on the outside, I, I will, but I want it to sort of dull out some so they look like the behind clouds and make some prominence. So the middle part will be clear. I hope I've left enough clear there. And then we'll come around the edges. So that will deal with the edges, but also it might give some nice effects. All right, I hope you get what I'm doing. I am going to respirate it up. I'll put some music on for you. Hopefully you will relax and you'll enjoy this process. So please don't stress. The integrity of this part will still remain as it is. It's just around making sure you got to be happy with your own work anyway. Sharon, you're digressing. Let's go on with this. Okay, so here we are in the morning and I'm very happy that I got the effect that I wanted around the edges and it has made it darker but what that has done is cast that light into the middle. Now where I go from here is I quite like some of these muted bubbles in the background like they've got fog coming off them. I'm contemplating, do I come and just add a light edge here, just as though the sun's catching it, but then the rest are in the shadow? Or do I stick to just the big ones through the centre so that they look like they're more forward and the others are in the background? So I might start with the big ones. And I don't know whether I am going to replicate the whole bubble or just like the sides, like I mentioned. Uh, but we'll do it with the big bubbles to start with. Then we'll start, we'll pause, we'll reflect, and then we'll see where it is. But I just love the vibrancy of that centre now. And if I can just capture a few bubbles to stick out more than the rest, uh, then hopefully get in that depth. That's my thoughts anyway. 
you may have chose to have left it as it was, but you've got to be true to your own work. Okay, I'm finished with this stage and I'm really happy. I brought more forward than I thought, but then again, I've still used the colours within there to make it look like they're slightly more translucent or in the distance. One final thing I'm going to do is on these big ones, I've got a tiny little crystal that I'm either contemplating putting on the big ones at the top as though the sun's reflecting on it, on a tiny little bit of glitter. And I'm only talking a tiny little bit, so as you walk, it might catch in the light. And then we'll top coat this. So come on this journey. Should be fairly quick this next stage. I'll see whether I want the diamonds or whether I want to just put glitter. Then we'll top coat it and we'll see what we're doing. Hi, Sharon from Vivid Days and we're here for a review time. Apologies for my lights and that everywhere, but I just want you to be able to see some of this spectacular colour that's in here. But before we get into the review, make sure you do pop over and say hello to Claire. Have a watch of her video. Make sure you give her a like and subscribe if you haven't already. She is an amazing artist and creative person and she inspires me a lot. I hope this meets the brief, Claire. And I hope that you enjoy seeing how this piece came together to everybody. I just love it. It's just yummy goodness. Now, I'm going to get my torch on here. But I am going to, before I do that, show you from the side. Because this resin is something that I was also working on. Now, that has given me a beautiful dome. And it is a fairly flat surface everywhere. There's only one slight raise, which is over this way here. And that is due to me and the glue and the build up there of the acrylic and the resin. But other than that, this resin has been a delight to work with. It's given me a beautiful, um, glossy, crystal clear surface. It's got a lot of working time, so you really do have to take that into consideration. So I reckon that you could work on this an hour before you really, it starts to sit, set and go thick. So that's something I'm going to learn with experience, but I would definitely recommend it. It is something that does have a very sweet smell to me. It, it probably smells more than some of the resins I'm used to working with. But as long as you've got a well-ventilated area in a mask, it's not really going to bother you. Resin is absolutely beautiful and it's nice to find other brands within the UK. Anyway, I am going off kilter. Let me get my little torch here and see if you can see some of the sparkle that's in here. That you might not um, see that just activated that glitter then. Sorry, it's going to come across again. So there is a lot of sparkle in here. So depending on where the light is hitting it or the sun, you're going to get to see different things. And I really enjoy that little bit of glitter that I added just to the um, bubbles there. Uh, and again, that's very delicate. Front on, you can't really see it. But as a light hits it or it twists, I'm just wondering if I can do it a little bit. You're just going to get that nice feature and it's again going to bring a little bit more personality within your artwork but thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome join my facebook group if you want a platform to showcase any of your work whatever medium you work with or creative outlets are 
Uh, I know that helps inspire a lot of people in the group and hopefully will inspire you. And also, if you want to purchase any of my treasures, pop over to my Etsy store. That's enough of all that goodness. I hope that you were inspired by this piece. And if you were, or if you've created your own bubble piece, make sure you let me and Claire know about it. We'd love to see what you're working on. And I just, I just think this is just, I just love it. Such a happy piece. And I'm really glad that I kept some of the colours coming through from the underneath and just highlighted that, that white area where the light's hitting it. So, you know, they're not perfect bubbles. When you look close up, there's not a lot to them. But when you stand back, I think it captures the essence of them floating and that magic. And I believe they're going off up into the rainbow somewhere where there's unicorns and fairies and all that happy goodness up there. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Claire, can't wait to do another collaboration. Wherever you are in the world, be safe, be happy and hopefully be creative. Bye bye.